In-depth coverage of the war on terror continues now. Logan Airport unveiled a brand new state-of-the-art security tool today. It's a robot that can actually disarm bombs all by itself. And while there's certainly a lot of cutting-edge technology at work there, there's also a lot of heart behind it. The robot is dedicated to Army Ranger Derek Hines, who was killed in Afghanistan and whose father is stationed at the airport. Though it is dedicated in memory of First Lieutenant Derek Hines, I would like it to be in memory of all West Point officers who have died in this global war on terror since 9-11. Dedicated to a Newburyport, Massachusetts soldier killed in Afghanistan, this remote-controlled robot will help save lives. This is a, a huge game for us. Meet the Black Knight, named after the mascot at West Point, the school where Heinz graduated. The robot can defuse bombs from a distance, controlled by an actual Xbox console. The state police say this robot is more intuitive and easier to use than older models. When we're operating it, we can think of this as we would the human arm, the ability to be able to, excuse me, rotate uh, the torso, be able to reach out and we can basically say, okay, I want to move the elbow. The robot was designed and built by a Tingsboro company, and Congresswoman Nikki Songus helped secure $800,000 in federal funds to pay for it. The Black Knight will be used by the state police bomb squad at Logan Airport. It's all about layers of security. Uh, when you have to approach uh, uh, security in a post-9-11 world, and this piece of equipment is going to yet be another layer. A robot to deploy on the front lines of domestic terrorism powered by the memory of a fallen soldier. Derek's still leading us every day and he's still helping. He's helping Steve and he's helping people that Steve works with and I think that's a good thing and um, he's still with us. The story has another personal Bay State connection. The owner of the company that designed and built the robot, Brian Hart, lost his son in Iraq. Private First Class John Hart was killed in action in 2003.